on the internet. And here we go with today's show, and we're taking the show on the road down to the Florida Keys. But not that far down, we're actually going to Key Largo. And for those people watching and don't know, Key Largo is about an hour south of Miami. And right now, we're passing by Gilbert's Tiki Bar, and that is located right at the beginning of Key Largo. And what we're doing today is something for the first time. We're taking the Island Hopper to a winter boating activity. And this used to be a local event, but now so many people know about it that a lot of people travel down to do the event and now we're taking you guys along for the ride and this video and event is partially sponsored by reliable marine where now you can get your new stealth line suzuki's call them up to get an estimate on the new stealth models So here we go with today's show. Where are we at? We're, in we're in Key Largo, actually. In Key Largo. Got a little confused there. But yeah, no better place than to be in the water, baby. And we're going to take you guys to something new today. We're going to take you guys to see. I mean, it's going to be a surprise. So I'm not going to tell you what it is until we get there. So let's go, go and show. And get out. And we're launching off of my friend's private neighborhood, Marina, located in Key Largo. And today we're running with a short crew because Orguita nor Gabby are coming. But we have two other boating friends joining us. And you're going to see who they are when we catch up to them. Hey! Hey, look what we found here. <laughs> How you guys doing, man? Bad, bro. Oh, hello. You guys are going over there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see yes, you guys sir. over there. There they are, right in front of us. Gustavo from Alamar, Miami, and Ruben from Reliable, me. And right now we're cruising through the mangroves channel, working our way south to the meeting area. And we have made it to the milling area. Now here's where the event's gonna begin its run all the way down south to Isla Morada Sandbar. And here it gives us a chance to look at the boats participating on the run. At least the ones that made it in time because I know there's gonna be some late stragglers coming along later on. And if you're watching this now and you're locally here in South Florida and didn't know about it, you should follow me on Instagram for local activities, events, and always check YouTube's community posts.
both just took off and we're here lagging back because, you know, I don't want to beat them, so I'm, I'm going to give them a head start. Now, we're just lagging back because we don't want to get caught up in the crowd and all the speed because our max is 55. And I think their slowest is 75. So, we're just chilling back here waiting for our turn to go last. But it's okay, though. We'll get there, right? We'll get there. And you guys will get there. Hey, hello! And off we go. And if you ever get a chance to participate in an event like this, you have to be very careful. And the most important thing is keep your line while you're navigating. And you have to watch out for boats in front of you, next to you, and behind you. And something very important, give yourself a lot of distance between the boat in front of you just in case they break down or they be, they do a sudden stop. And it's a very good idea that you have a driver that concentrate on driving only and a navigator looking around the surrounding boats. And if you're going to be traveling at high speeds at all time, the best bet is to wear your life vest. But as today, we're just cruising on the back of the pack. And remember, you want to get there, have some fun, but first of all, be safe. chopper i guess taking video or photos and right now we're running in flat water so we open the hopper up and we hit 51 miles an hour so that's the fastest i ever got from key largo to isla morada that was a quick ride Woo! amazing buddy right here that was a fun to suck oh. And there it is right in front of us, Isla Morada Sandbar. And if you're a subscriber, you know I've been here a few times already. And the sandbar life here is amazing. And this reminds me of a story, well actually of a message that I got through an email that I want to call him a fan because he says he has a problem subscribing to the channel. And the problem is not with a social media platform, the problem is with his wife. And then he explains, every time I uploaded a video, he will get a notification and the thumbnail will pop up on the screen and his wife will see it and she will start saying there goes again the miami guy uploading videos of boats and sexy women on bikinis and that will start up an argument between them two so he had no choice but to unsubscribe but according to him he still watches the channel on his own time when she's not around and i wrote back to him thank you so much for the loyal support but you shouldn't get yourself in trouble because of me so i told him make sure you delete your browser history now all jokes aside i think this is a serious situation because if you have to hide from your wife or girlfriend to watch my channel there must be a problem and it's definitely not my videos but i have a question to ask my lady subscribers would you restrict your boyfriend or husband from watching the channel I know that the Florida lifestyle is a little different than up north because here we wear less clothes and up north wears more clothes to keep warm but here it's too hot so I could understand ladies consider this a little bit revealing but for us Floridians it's normal even like sometimes on the weekend I go grocery shopping and I see ladies in bikinis inside a store but yet I don't see couples fighting or the women asking the guy if he looked or not but my guy good luck to you and make sure you don't get in trouble for watching the videos because we just reached the sandbar and now is when the fun begins but we have a little challenge because the water temperature is 68 degrees and that is ice cold for me luckily the sandbar gets pretty low maybe a few inches deep and the island hopper draft is only 10 inches so it doesn't reach the danger zone and this event is held by key island runners and this one's the first one for the year and they have a couple more coming so if you want to find out just make sure you follow me on instagram for local events and daily activities
This event brings a lot of people together, local boulders and some are out of towners too, from the east coast and the west coast. Plus, and it brings together the people that like speed, water and the sandbar life. Okay, so let's talk about the thumbnail of the videos. If I put a picture of a few guys and they better be very good looking and muscular, who you think people will be interested? Or if I put a picture of a few ladies, who you think will get more clicks and views? Well, you already know, the ladies picture. And that's a proven fact in any social media platform. So people, don't hate the video creator, hate the game. That we all must play to generate more views on the videos. And I just gave you guys a big hint how to generate more views on your content. And talking about content, this one's getting pretty long, so I'm gonna have to make part two, cause I have more footage of this day, so stay tuned for part two, because I have more pictures and footage of friends, fans, and also cool looking boats. So make sure to keep your eyes open for the notification and another sexy thumbnail, or I might just put a picture of me. But whatever I do, you're gonna have to come back for part two.